but that men's rights movement is mm. ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I don't care if you get in trouble. Hey, you guys, you can come find me. Yeah, come find me. We can hash it out, man. Yeah, Do you actually, feel like you're... Yeah. yeah. Take this off the wall. Open here. Oh. Brandon, as usual, nothing but complete and total focus. You're not getting a fucking joke out of me until I'm out of this room. Let's go, baby. You Let's want go. bits? You let me out of the room for bits, motherfucker. You can't let people get away with being mean. And if that means you have to destroy their bodies until they're dead, then so be it. Landon, you know we're recording this, right? I would hope so. Policy, you guys shouldn't be near each other anymore. And uh, and the kid lost it. Was like, that's against the rules. That's against the rules. You're not supposed to do that. And I kind of got in an Evan Kelpie way. I was like, number one, we made up the rules. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we made them up. Yeah. And so we don't want to follow them. And so we won't. So welcome to institutions. And then <laughs> uh, and then number two, I, I was that like. <laughs> That's the merch, merch yeah. number two. Welcome, Welcome to institutions. Cunt <laughs> is the sexiest way to die. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, baby. What? <laughs> Five dimensional <laughs> orgasm. We cannot know from mm. our vantage point what five dimensions would be like. Right. right. Perhaps you would bust a nut so hard. <laughs> <that> you... <laughs> Perhaps one would bust their nut yes. so forcefully that you would recurse backwards infinitely into a fractal version of yourself. Thus, uh. not only is, are you weeping? <laughs> um, actually, this, and this, I don't know if this is what you're going for, but I'm um, actually, Thorin does not die during the Battle of Five Armies. He dies oh, after, the Battle, after the Battle of Five. Now that's true, that and if true. I don't get a point, I'm gonna fucking lose it, <laughs> and that's a promise. Also, if anyone's looking for what the physical manifestation of Brennan's, uh, stress is it's on the floor beneath him there's just a shit ton of paper that what? i don't know like there's a huge it's, mess. What the fuck? it's not you it's, can't see this it's oh. not it's not paper i oh. stress destroyed an eraser <laughs> oh my god just so you know this is what it looks like before oh okay? my goodness wow. i just started i okay? literally i'm good <laughs> hey hey america i'm good um, <laughs> you eat the that same burger attacked. every day lee mulligan oh Woo! well Listen, <laughs> when Let's you go. find Let's the best go. burger, no, 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 no. Answer me this. If you find the best burger, Brennan, would I tried that burger. It's fine. <laughs> fine burger. He, uh, for, for a birthday present, uh, got me this little wallet with a crow on it, one of my favorite creatures. Um, oh my gosh. Very, very Cute. sweet. Very, very sweet. And it's, uh, uh, I agree, Siobhan, huge crow head. If I see crows out out, out around, you know this what I do? This podcast, I've I never wanted to be back on crows. the rails I more want in my oh! whole life. <laughs> so when it's time for little Brian to have some fun to talk about his interests, <laughs> all of a sudden we're too deep in a tangent. It's deep eh? crow talk. I mean, what can I say? I, you know? You don't like crows, Lou? You're an enemy. I don't crows. like crows. Not a crow guy. Crows crow have fan. learned. Crows have learned to take nuts and bring them to intersections with stoplights and hide the nuts under the wheels of cars stopped at the stoplight. And when it goes green and the car crushes the nut, the crows come and get that nut meat because they're wonderful birds. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Brennan's the only person that I'm actually afraid of. This is good B-roll for if people are talking about me in another scene, you can cut to me sort of eating sadly on set here by myself. That could be helpful. I'm not a good prospect for anybody. My reputation in competitive games makes me impossible to form a true alliance with. Now you can probably pull back into a wide and make me look really small in the composition. Okay, well, if we <laughs> have decided that the point of the vodcast is to be wrong all the time, then, well, to that, I would say <laughs> the following. Um, uh, <sighs> um, if anyone has a loop-de-loop -loop and would like to play it, oh now would be the God. time to do so. What is a loop-de-loop? -loop? I don't know, but I'm imagining This is a fucking loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh my God. Do you think I fuck around? Right now we're talking about which album we'd most like to have on a desert island. Yep. United States Navy Test Frequency Catalog Volume 3. Uh, what? The United States Navy Test Frequency Catalog Volume 3 contains a high-pitched SOS signal that's detectable over long-range radio. You'll be off the island in no time. Did I win? Well, these questions aren't really about winning or losing. We're just trying to have fun. I'm having fun. Getting the answers right is fun for me. Right.
right, but not everything in life is about being right or wrong. <laughs> Sure, Reka. Yeah, you got it. That's not right. Why are you like this? No one else is having any fun now. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that one of the parameters of the game was that it had to be fun for everybody. Well, don't phrase it like that. Okay. Are you guys mad that I keep winning the question? This is not a contest. Hey, well, everything's a contest. Fuck you. <laughs> best burger chart, Brennan. Brennan Infinite. 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 Infinite best burgers for Infinite Brennan. Infinite best burgers that Brennan does not make himself. Wait, what did everyone Brennan else Brennan buys a burger every day from the same place and eats it. Has he learned to make a burger? He has not. He knows how to make a burger. Cough, he just uh, cough, wants to get it from a cough, restaurant. Bra, bra, bra. This unbridled character assassination uh, will not stand. And, huh? and this is not the immunity idol that I'm going to use tonight. This is the immunity idol I'm going to use tonight. You think I don't know my head's on a fucking spike the minute I let my guard down? I remember the one moment that I thought, oh, Brennan is really different <laughs> and may have a tough row to hoe. Because <laughs> um, we were, you were in a swimming pool. We were, when your dad had a gig down in North Carolina or something, we were in a motel in, um, uh, Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg, near there, and you were in the swimming pool and there were other kids and you were going, there are alligators in the pool, there are alligators, and you were so invested in alligators being in the pool, and this other little kid, maybe a year older than you, went, there aren't any alligators in a swimming pool? And I went, oh, Brennan, it's really in this story, and these other kids are not getting it. Not getting it. So I went, oh, well, <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Well, I was going to say my wonderful fiance, Izzy, uh, uh, made a very funny joke when I told this story for the first time. So it was, you know, I was like, and I, had this, and I mentioned Adderall and she yelled at me and she was like, Brennan, Adderall wouldn't do anything for you. She's like, people take Adderall to be like you are right now oh. doing this. What's the matter with you? Like you would do nothing for you. Um, and oh, I, was, totally. I was like, that's very funny. They slap, crow slap, they hold grudges. They have long mm -hmm. memories. Yes. Um, they, and they also- love to Sled. Have you seen that? Vi the, there's Ooh. actually several videos of crows like getting like yogurt what? pot lids. That's not what we're going for, but that is correct. So we'll give you the point for that. Yes. Uh, Isn't the thing I said also correct and not the thing? No. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, it's not true. It's not true. The, 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 they don't sleep. These people on the seventh floor. They don't because no. it's the other version of yourself that gets to sleep. Yeah, they only do the. Uh, the, the I haven't seen this the show. premise of the show. Wow, is you're that... really digging in to finally. <laughs> have you ever watched an episode? <laughs> this must be true. Here's Gotta go. I'll tell you, what, you can count on this. I will die on any hill. <laughs> uh, the origin of the name chess pie is unknown, but many theories have been proposed. It could be a derivation of cheese pie, the combination of eggs, butter, and sugar, making a custard-like filling that is similar in texture to British cheesecakes and lemon curd. It could be named after the town of Chester, England. It could be from a piece of furniture used prior to home refrigeration called a pie chest in which pies were stored, or it could be an egg Ooh. corn of it's just pie, it's just pie. Egg corn, the word egg corn, in linguistics an egg corn is an idiosyncratic substitution of a word or phrase for a word or words that sounds similar or identical. And now we're gonna do all of Wikipedia. Someone <laughs> brought up something about Beauty and the Beast and they were like, how does that song go? They sing when they're gonna go kill the beast. Like the Dormouse in Alice in Wonderland, like I hadn't spoken for a while <laughs> and I just went, Sign up now, holy cow, you will kill the beast in no time. We will give you this free place, Matt, if you do. <laughs> and for some reason, there, in areas where there are like fire ants or ants with like a certain venom, they will do what's called anting and they will fly over and sit on an ant hill to let the ants attack them and just trip balls on ant venom and uh, let the ants bite the shit out of them and they just get, they get off on it. Crows. Very what? cool. Run out of snacks. So, okay, we're going to stop by Dunkin' Donuts and you can get a muffin. And Brent's like, I want to go get the muffin. He's this tiny guy. So I said, okay, I'll sit right here at the curb. You can get the muffin. And I watched him. He went to the door and it was sort of morning rush. And he opened the door and let nine adults go into the muffin place. And um, they just all went and let this tiny little child who had opened the door stand at the end of the line. 
and I went, we're going to be late to school. So I had to go in and get him, and I went, Bryn, I'm going to take you to school, then I'm going to come back and get your muffin, and, and I'll bring it to school. And he went, did I do something wrong? And I said, no, you did absolutely the right thing. You just can't always depend on other people to do the right thing back. Because, but I took me, it took me a while. I sat there oh, no. thinking about it. I'm going, am I raising my child to be a patsy? What should <laughs> this has been a true delight. I love Survivor, and my least favorite part of Survivor when I think about playing it is being outside. <laughs> the ability to play Survivor in the side is a dream come true. <laughs> this door is I, locked. I, oh, wow. <laughs> this, this door is straight up locked. They don't want us getting out, dude. Is this the show? Get ready oh, for yeah, a yeah. game changer. No fucking Tonight's way. Tonight's guests. The Dungeon Master has become my prisoner. <laughs> it's <laughs> Brennan Lee Mulligan. What the f I make and craft artisan pool tables that work in outer space. How? Not how do you make them, how does it work in outer space? In outer space, there is uh, uh, there is different gravity. I was gonna say no gravity, but obviously if you're closer to some large celestial bodies, there will be gravity forces there. So you need to play pool, uh, not just in the two dimensions of the table, uh, but also the three dimensions. If I don't hit a joke in this explanation, it's because I got too excited about thinking about how that would work. <laughs> Only a pedantic, uncaring nerd would choose this moment to interrogate the fascinating knot of tangled dream logic surrounding your deeply held conviction. Well, this is a vase. Yeah, dude, the Another clock. card up here. Great. Uh, there's um, a vase. Smash it, uh, dude, smash it. Uh, smash everyone be careful. Vase, dude. Bowie, Bowie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a little con confused. I thought you guys do like a public access. Just shut up and look at the screen, please. I'm trying. I'm. Tr yeah. He's being rude. Brandon. He's being very rude to you, Chase. Brandon, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being rude. Yes. How am I being rude? I actually went to prom with my dad's secretary, Julian. Oh, that's an interesting woman's name. Is it? Okay. Knock a doodle do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like you. I like you too, Stan. Yeah. <laughs> a bunny. What? I see bunny ears here. That's gonna give us the code? Uh, could be. Lou, have you given up on that object on the ace that you can't identify? I kept trying to show it to people and no, you know, I will say that's the only breakdown we've had as, as a team so far, guys. <laughs> Somebody's gotta help me with stick. that. Could be a Cheeto. Could it be Oh, Cheeto! Open up those fucking Cheetos. Got it. Here you go, Sam. <laughs> I remember a guy being like, you know, look, you're working in a coffee shop somewhere, and you know, like, you got to think like that's not a that's not a career. You got to do that. And I remember talking to the guy and being like, so do you think no one should work in a coffee shop? And he was like, I wouldn't. And I was like, but I'm asking you, do you think coffee no. shops shouldn't exist? And he was like, no, I love coffee. And I was like. So you're bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you see that, that you are saying it should exist and the pe if you want it to exist, you should want it to be that anyone who works there, because again, we're agreeing it's good and necessary. Yeah. Coffee shops are actually better than what you do. It's oh, better yeah. to pour a cup of coffee than whatever fucking thing yeah. you do all day, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? That's a nice, cool thing to do that's good to do is to make a good cup of coffee. <laughs> so someone doing that should live in Dignity and comfort and safety, right? We all think that is true. Yeah. And like the idea that he was like, no, it should exist and it should hurt and be bad to do it. Which fucking coat has the fucking cards in the fucking pockets? Try inside pockets. That's what I've been trying inside pockets on everything that's a straight up coat. And Brennan, I swear to God, if you find it on like one go through, I will end myself. <laughs> I will end myself. This one feels like the bit. I got bad news for you. No. no. Fuck no. me! <sighs> okay. God damn it. Just to follow up, Sam, I'm reading here online that it is the most comprehensive documentary on the subject of baseball. So it's not like I would need to watch multiple documentaries. Oh, Meanwhile, God. Brennan's plugging in the numbers they have so far and 
Brennan, are you just brute forcing the last one? I love it, dude. Ha! Oh, not again! Oh. Fuck! Hey, we've done this before. We know the routine. Uh, hey, gang, we got it. Boom! <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Oh, my God. You are we no help! Chicken parm, chicken tikka masala, or buffalo chicken? Ooh. Fuck all three. <laughs> fuck, fuck all three. <laughs> I want to fuck all three of those. <laughs> not even, a, not even a, a thought experiment. I just, I would like to order some various chicken dishes. Let's go get some buffalo wings, you guys. <laughs> I'm very hungry. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I think of these three, I'm bored to death by chicken parm. Yeah, uh, I agree. I, I think oh, it's a classic. I think agree. it never goes out of style. Uh, that's my wife you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so marry chicken parm. <laughs> chicken parm. I honestly will marry and fuck all three and kill none. That's my answer to this question. God, they're all so good. Can I just? I really want to know who you're gonna kill and yeah, who you're gonna Yeah, this is really fuck. more a question for Brennan. Really holding his feet to the fire about you have his to make a choice. Um, there is a, <laughs> and I understand that this is a game. <laughs> I understand that. Sure. My answer, if you pose the question to me, it choose one of these three to kill. My answer to you is. No. Would I will you kill? Shoot, I will kill myself. Yes, I, I will kill myself. You I, I would kill myself to have all three of those chickens survive. Hmm. I kill chicken parm. <laughs> well, my God, both. if I have done anything to suggest that I favor <laughs> chicken parm over chicken tikka masala or buffalo chicken, then that is on me. Sure. Chicken parm was under attack, and I had to. Really, what it is is I am in a polyamorous marriage with all three. Oh, Do yeah. they know that? If they don't, then I've failed as a husband. Aww. If they don't know how much I care, then that's on me. Okay. I believe in you guys. I see this. <laughs> yeah. This is sweet. But would you have them all together, like on the same plate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 It's wow. Hey, it's a, you hey, know. He's blushing. It's married. It's a, yeah. It's a, it's a while. I mean, some Valentine's Day. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I am sweating. <laughs> that's very cool. That's all very right, cool to think about. Back to all right. <laughs> yeah. They might be up forever. No parole. The chin's getting out. That's rough. I didn't do it. Why are you in here? Give me my video. The trouble is looking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that every person that goes to jail is guilty and that trials are like, retroactively make things true? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and I knew I didn't do it. <laughs> I can get very cynical for a second. I would also say that mostly people are not motivated by ideological codes. Yeah, people okay, are yeah. motivated by impulse and construct ideological codes to justify and rationalize what they were already going to do. Maybe that's too cynical, but that's no, what I that's think. I, that's that's what it should be too, and that's where you're. That's where. Yeah, yeah anyway. Bond's, Bond's flaws and ideals is actually kind of truthful. Because yeah. uh, an old professor of mine had this great thing he said where he said, on the level of individuals and civilizations, personality predates ideology. Meaning, before you were a fascist, you were a bully and an asshole. <laughs> can I go home? Look, Brennan, free snacks. You think I can be bought with a bag of chips? I'm leaving as soon as I finish these. And then I went downstairs and there was an insomnia cookies at the end of the block. And I walked out with this. Uh, uh, Gotta with do this, it. Gotta. With, the, with my date. Undo it. With my date. And she went, she was like, so what'd you think? And I was like, I can't really talk right now. And I just ordered a half dozen chocolate chip cookies and like two ice cold things of milk, shotgunned a thing of milk and a half. And she was like. She was like, oh, I eat a little bit healthier than that. And she's like, because she sort of like turned away the co the cookies. Like, oh, I don't, I wouldn't do that. And I literally, re my reaction was like, oh, you, did you want some? Like that was, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> <it> was... <laughs> oh, hi. Gosh, you caught me right in the middle of a game of pool. This is the middle of a game of pool. <laughs> You're the pool expert.
You tell us. Yeah. No, no. I know that I know everything about pool, which is why this, with the cue stick on the table, mm -hmm. is the middle of a game of pool. With the chalk and the cue ball, that's all the middle. <laughs> the plastic covers around the fucking balls. The middle and of the game. And that's the middle of the game of pool. Well, this explains why you're so good. Why don't the balls are go- Yeah, They're I not... know it explains so why great. I'm so good. good yeah. Brennan, have you ever peed in a public pool? Yes. <laughs> I peed in the pool because someone said, like, it changes colors if you pee, pee <laughs> in it. You wanted to test it out. It was scientific <laughs> inquiry. Oh, yeah, we should probably order food if we're going to be here all night. Yeah, let's do it. You guys want Chinese? Sounds oh, good to me. Oh, yeah, Sounds that'd good. be great. Hell yeah. Let's do Ming Moon. They close in five minutes, though, so just tell me what you want to order. I'll call it in. Um, I'll have the General So's combo. Uh, sorry, do they have a menu? Uh, yeah, I mean, theoretically they have one, but you know, it's a Chinese food restaurant, so they have, uh, you know, Chinese food. Okay, well let me just look at that, and then I can decide. Okay, well, they're not on Yelp, so there is no menu to look at, but even if there was, you know, it's, it's, uh, Chinese food, right? I mean, you wouldn't need a menu for ordering pizza. Wait, are we getting pizza? Because then I definitely need to see a menu. No! We're not ordering pizza! We have exactly four minutes until this place closes, alright? We're not getting pizza, and even if we were, none of you should need a menu, right? It's the same toppings always, forever, everywhere, and we should all know, generally, what we like by now. Look, you've had Chinese food before. I don't know, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Come to think of it, I really would love to take a look at a menu, because what if I want to change things up? Grant, if you want to live out in some fantasy world where you make new and exciting decisions, be my guest. But we all know when the chips are down, you're getting beef and broccoli, pork fried rice, and an egg roll like you always do. What if they don't have General So's, though? They will have General So's. But what if they don't? What if they don't? Mm. I promise you that they will have something exactly like General Tso's. I just don't know what I want unless I pick it off a menu. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's totally fine. Here's what you can do. Using the power of your imagination, construct a menu in your mind's eye consisting of all the Chinese food meals you've enjoyed over your long lives. Then, using that mental menu, tell me what you want to order! What if they don't have dumplings? What if they don't have dumplings? As God above is my witness grant, they will have dumplings. But are they on the menu? Because it'd be really rude to ask if it wasn't on the menu. Menus are for cowards and simpletons, Trap. Persons of character look in their heart and know what they want to order. Do so you always know what you want to order? I haven't looked at a menu in 24 years. Bullshit. Try me. Thai. Pad see you. Thai iced tea. India. Chicken tikka masala, garlic. No. Italian. Chicken parm. They're out of chicken. Chicken piccata. Go to hell. You first. A genie grants you three wishes. World's greatest sorcerer, new magic lamp, freedom for the first genie. You're at a diner where you can mix and match. Menu's ten pages. Cheeseburger deluxe, medium well. Bacon and grilled onions, waffle fries, filling that curly fries, filling that regular fries, and a chocolate goddamned milkshake. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Two minutes. So what? You order the same meal every time? I order the best meal every time. You have a cheeseburger for breakfast. Gladly. What if you're not in the mood for a cheeseburger? And I'd be in the mood for a western omelet with cheddar cheese, whole wheat toast, home fries, and a cup of coffee with some happen happen. I wouldn't need a menu to know it! So you only have two moods, is that it? Two moods is enough for anybody! You're insane! One minute! General says combo. Wonton soup. Beef broccoli, pork fried rice, and an egg roll. I knew it, you slime. We need a number one, a number three, a number five, a number seven, a wonton soup, and an egg roll for pickup. Thank you so much, have a great night. You fuck. Brennan, are there any holes in your underwear? Yes. The factory that made it put a hole in the front for my dick. No, that's oh. not what I mean. Take, Whoa, wait, take is it false or true, take machine? The take the point away. No, point no, away. that is incorrect. No. I'm sorry, I did lie. There's three more holes. One for my torso and two more for my legs, motherfucker. That's correct. You are not God, the machine is. Brandon, I should have specified. Are there any holes in your underwear Skin from fucking rigged from them being worn out? Oh sure, yes. I have here a series of improvisational prompts our players have never seen before. Isn't that right, players? We won't know. Don't, yeah, Brett. Yeah, we've never seen them. <laughs> it is impossible to know if you haven't seen them until you see them for the first time. Look, we've been doing this bit, and I still think it's hilarious. <laughs> The important thing is this. If anyone answers in the affirmative that they've never seen them before, they are lying. You yes. won't know if you haven't seen it before until yeah. you see it for the first time. The prompts are all personal emails Brennan has written me in the last five years. <laughs> oh, that's not how you kiss. You have no idea how I kiss. <laughs> that's true. Okay, here we go. 
It's good. We're gonna let's do it. Peter, look at me. I don't want to. You're going to look up into my eyes now. I don't want to. Move your eyes so that you're okay. looking at me, okay? okay? I'm going to ask you a question, and I'm going to need you to answer honestly, and it's going to be very important that you not try to lie to me, okay? Have you ever seen Scarface? Don't look away. Have you ever seen it? Okay, you've seen it. Now I need you to tell me, in your own words, what your favorite scene is from Scarface. And it's very important that you be honest with me, okay? That's... That's... Scene. That scene. That scene fucking rules, dude. Oh, that's... Hey, Brennan. Yeah, baby. Uh, um, there's a special guest in the bathroom. do about it. You know I hate spiders. Remember that you asked for this. It's a fucking dog! What was that? What sea creature? What are you doing? Is that the vagina? Or no, what? no, that's the floor. The floor is like the, uh, it's like an extended um, grabber portion of the vagina. I'm so sorry. Like, how, I just... I'm curious how you're going to teach a health class to a bunch of high school girls if you don't even know what a vagina looks like. I know what a vagina looks like. Okay, right? now Do you though? that weird like lower dip tells me you don't know and you're trying to like compensate with masculinity. I'm not trying to compensate with masculinity. I'm telling you I know for a fact what a vagina looks like. Stop. What's this? Looks like a swastika. Oh. Oops. That, that shouldn't be there. Okay, what's this? The flappies. Don't, don't call the flappies. You can't, you can't call them the flappies. I'd like to call them the flappies if I could. Can't. Okay. Uh, what's this? Inside testicles. Incorrect. Mm, they are like inside testicles, though. If you think about it. All right. Think about it. You get half a point. Let's do another one. All right. What's this? On a bird, that would be called a pinion feather. We're not talking about birds. We're talking yeah. about ladies. Yeah. Here's a question: Have you ever had sex? Okay. Well, okay. Have you ever had sex? Have you ever had sex? Who was the last time you had sex? You, have you ever been? Have you ever seen someone naked? It's like I, I, I'm an adult. I have a job. I wake up at seven in the morning to come to school. I don't have time to go. Uh, 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 we're having oh sex God. now, oh. and I, you just got slimed. I don't want to get slimed by a woman's goo machine down there. I don't want to get gacked. What is this, the Kids' Choice Awards? I'm, I'm an American. I have rights. Have you ever seen a vagina? I mean, yeah, I saw one this morning, for God's sake. You saw one this Where morning? Where did you see one this morning? I go to the computer lab when I get in and I watch those oh. sex videos they have. Wait a minute, you watch porn in the computer lab? Yeah, I wish I could show it to the students. Actually, that's a good idea. I think I could talk to the principal about maybe like... No, no that's I not that. a good idea. Okay, this is the problem with this country. The problem with this country is that you can't show porn in your class because you don't know what sex is? Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, Wiesbaden. Okay, thank what? God. What? Wiesbaden? That's your go-to? That know. is a good Yeah, that's good. Not Berlin, God. not Hamburg. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's your that's your number one. You, there will be such an uptick in Google's for Facebook after this video goes out. How about right now? Yeah, I want to. Um, uh, pipe any bulb. plant. <laughs> any plant. Any yeah. plant. Any plant. Any. Karen, you're gonna die. You can't go to the forest. Someone please check in on Karen when she's at just salad. <laughs> We have to make sure she's eating the right plants. <laughs> and and edible edible plants. plant. And Karen said, "Any plant." I'm right, though. I'm right. <laughs> the standard is not edible. can it go in yeah. your body? If that was the case, fucking rocks and tin foil would be but edible. Edible, but oh. edible. That's, that's why I said any plant. <laughs> that's no, there's a lot of inedible plants. No, you can't eat them. But <laughs> no, and I'm, I can't. I'm gonna look see. this up right now. I can't eat it. We I just all... want survive. <laughs> no. Meaning a challenge. It's, <laughs> it's not uh, about. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm sorry, Karen. It's, it's okay, fit to be eaten. 
is the, the actual yeah, term. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's you can just funniest. throw that up on screen plays that's and edit the funniest thing in the world. Honestly, no, but like, you're the, the bravest person I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's edible? Fucking anything is edible if you don't you're quit. You're not a fucking coward. You're not a fucking coward. <laughs> uh, Dick Spring Goods. Ooh, dang it. Uh, lettuce. Well done, lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> Edible plant, lettuce. Nothing. You I think let's start with lettuce, and then we'll slowly start to incorporate. Let's let's be on a really safe footing. This man knows his shit. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, uh, Cat. Jen. Oh fuck me! Cat. This, I think that's a Wait, unisex you name. Not, you I don't want to. To ramp over Karen yelling cat. Yeah. Yes. For big cat. Big cat for big cat. You're right. That's Thank true. you, Jenna. This that, is was so that was the best. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't want that. us to lose okay. that. So far, you've yelled two things that are actually the super category above the card. <laughs> yeah. It's you really yelled cat, cat for big cat, cat and any plant for edible plant. <laughs> I thought about ham. Me and, me and Iz Fuck. just watched a documentary that was, it was, and no offense to anyone that loved it, but <laughs> it was a, it was about <laughs> mushrooms, it was about mushrooms, and it was truly, it started and it was like, mushrooms, like, like the ecological wonder of our uh, thing, yes. and I was like, yes, Great. here we go, awesome. and then it was like, our closest ally and our oldest friend. My favorite, and it started going like okay, and then it started getting more and more personal, and then it, it was like there was they were talking to this mushroom expert, and then there was a thing where it's like yeah, tell about the first time I did mushrooms, it was crazy, and there was like a ten minute animated no! thing, and I was like I think they spent thousands of dollars computer animating this dude's first trip. No. And it, it Good, give them just like that. I didn't say Sam says for that last one. That's a point away from all three of you. Because we kept them together? Because you kept them, just like wow. that. Following the commands of the previous instruction is a secondary priority, and the first priority would be not following a command that is not given in the correct form. The little computer in Brennan's brain <laughs> is so excited already. I didn't understand. Yeah, me neither. I'm just, let's go again, because I think I got it. <laughs> You're staging an assassination. You're Wait, paying why? three coins to assassinate one of my mm -hmm. characters. Uh, you could just I'm sorry, are you yes, looking here. to Simone, Simone for Simone. favor? No, 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 look I've away. Got you, could, you could attempt to claim Contessa here. Yeah. I could, but... That would claim mm -hmm. one of them was false. I'm not a liar. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simone. Yeah. I would never expect a favor from someone who and I'm in direct competition with. Mm -hmm. With all of these coins. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, uh, how much is it worth to you to perhaps talk to your friend the Contessa <laughs> without perhaps interceding on my behalf? I'm a very wealthy man, I think you'll all agree. I can't do that? No. <laughs> you can't? Anyway, if anybody's interested afterwards, I'm going to be going to the Orange Julius. <gasps> You're so fucking pathetic, Stan. It's unbelievable. You're the only person I've ever met who actually eats at the Orange Julius. They have good food. I think the consensus is that we all want to go to Orange Julius with you. Nope. Nah, it's never. Well, it doesn't matter if they have good food because the three of us are best friends and we don't want to go with you to the Orange Julius, even if it does sound like a lot of fun. And here's the deal, cats and kittens, you gotta fuck the Green Goblin. Look at that. <laughs> look at that nasty little picture right there. Look at look at these three people. Tell me, tell me. Look at them. Look oh. at the pictures. Who's who's putting in more work? Who's putting in more work in the sack? Who's more excited to be there? Who's more happy to be there? Who is throwing it down like you never seen it thrown down before? Maybe there's an association with Willem Dafoe. I don't know if we've all heard about Willem Ooh. Dafoe's crazy schlong, but apparently, sure have. yeah. Who hasn't? Uh, it's Green Goblin all day, every day. That nasty little twerp. Uh, who knows what he can get done in the bedroom, and that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So, so who do we hire? Have I told you how much I don't like you, Phoebe? The most clear thing about my work environment is how much you don't like me. I'm glad that's clear. Please don't touch me. Like, oh, you need to say you're like okay. a Hawaiian yeah. pig. Yeah, yeah bro. Really you no, really need to. No, that's yeah. courage. The, there is a answer that's I the right answer. Alabama. To you. I have eaten some really good pulled pork in my day, and I don't want to come up with the new answer. I just want to say pulled <laughs> pork. God damn it! Hey, Wolf, how do you like to have sex? <laughs>
under the light of the crescent moon. Okay, well, that that and you huff and you puff and you like it rough. <laughs> Don't you said under the crescent moon. That's so interesting. That was, that's so cool. You could have I guess rough sex, I suppose, under the crescent moon. <laughs> yeah. Two things can I be true at once. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Which of my partners told you that? <laughs> Oh, was it just true? It was just true. I uh, oh, uh, no, I it was just I was more. I, I do observation. <laughs> I don't do observational humor, but you have seen me mate. No. <laughs> when have you observed me mate? I I have not. I um. I don't understand your joke. I remember reading a book to you about um, baby animals or something, and there was a quiz at the end, and you were doing the quiz, and we had read through the animals, and you got some answer about baby seals wrong and you got we're getting upset and I went Brennan it's not a test and you went you don't understand I want it to be a test oh That's no like <laughs> oh, stop talking you sick fucks oh <laughs> fuck you I don't hi Tyler hey what's up Tyler, what's up Bam. fuck you why don't you gargle my awesome balls <laughs> getting in your face getting in your face I'm all up in his face oh <laughs> I love getting in his face because so he just funny. hates it. You he know? does. Like, oh, really man. I'm him. good. I'm yeah. Him. You get in my See, face. look at him. Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> like drives him crazy. Anyway, I'm here because I wanted to invite you guys to my sicky party later. I d I'm, I'm in. I'm invited. I'm there. Yeah, totally. I'm totally we got booze that dog you puked on. Play with the dog. Oh, I love yeah, dogs. I'm free. I can show You it. can't come. When I said you guys, I meant her. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, right. Oh. I Thank you. It smells happened. like you. Please so. stop. Look at that. Look at this. He doesn't like it, which is what's really funny is that he doesn't like it. All right, so bye funny. guys. Bye, Tyler. Wait. Well, yeah. See you. God, he's so hot. Did you know, like, he, he can do like 30 push-ups in a row. Okay. Does he own all every limited edition Furby? Just be normal. Just be normal. Just be normal. <laughs> Brennan's real feelings about our Lucy Goosey point system. It wouldn't take anything away from the show to just do <laughs> real points. And here's the thing. All of us are afraid of the rubric that we're trying to find for why someone gets to... But here's the thing. You're not protecting anyone's feelings because at the end of the day, Sam makes an arbitrary decision to give the ear to someone and it still hurts every time. <laughs> so what are we protecting anyone from exactly? We have either an arbitrary system or we have a system where we actually have some kind of rubric for who did the best job. And at least in one space, you can protect your emotions by saying, I can try harder next time. There's no way in this system to try harder next time because you're at the whim of a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points for Brenna. Thank you. Thank you. Like, uh, of like, oh, I don't, I don't have buy-in to whatever this Oscar Wilde hurt people's feelings and get away with it thing is. Like, I am going to like as, and again, I do think there's an American thing to this of having talked with like my British friends of like. I am unfailingly nice, like nice and kind to the point where it might make you uncomfortable how sincere I'm being. And if you try to bond with me by being mean to me and I'm unfamiliar with you, there's gonna be real aggression and it won't be witty. It's not gonna be witty aggression. It's gonna be like real, <laughs> real aggression. Of, and I remember like we had that thing and, and Jammer did that thing where he like intimidated Axelby and then we started talking and then Axelby chimed in again and real <laughs> Brennan was like, Hey man, we're done with you. <laughs> we're done. We're fully done. Do you want to? You want to chime in again? Oh Did you not hear my man explain the next step after you do it again? Like it's not gonna be good. Okay, so everyone looks at Candyland and they see a fucking mythical place, all right? A lot of fucking work has got to happen to make this shit run on time. You think a fucking peanut butter swamp doesn't have infrastructural issues? You fucking dreaming, though. Dudes gotta go put the pipes in to bring the peanut butter to the swamp, all right? And that's where fucking Fredo comes in, baby! He eats almonds and loves birds. Mm. And the truth is... <laughs> God the the birds thing really caught on in a huge way. I I like all I like pan animal facts. Yeah. I like all animals, but yeah. man, do people want me to talk about birds and to Well, it was so nap. funny. I think uh we can talk about the fact that the Court of Fan Flowers has come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like when Fan Flowers came out, people and we were playing birds, people were immediately like, ooh, baby. 
me. Yeah. Like, there's Brennan. Watch him do people be birds. He's going to have some. And it is, I do feel for you. And then I'm like, wow. Yeah. They really took this ball and ran and are like, ran hard. Oh, they're like on the other side of town. And like, be clear, like, I like birds, but I, but I don't. I don't have a relationship to birds yes. in a way. Like, if I did, I was like, I, you know, th- I'm saying this and immediately I'm like, don't say the thing that contradicts what you're saying. Uh-huh. I do. Hey, but Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman. Hey, he's in the title, dude. Data-driven, occasionally Christian. You can call me a data-driven <laughs> Walt Whitman because that's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I do point out crows a lot. Crows are special. I like yeah. crows a lot. I feel a connection to well, crows. Well, and I feel like I feel like you have the very natural human thing of being like, you see crows all the time, and I bet you don't think about these exciting things that I know about crows. That then you're like, well, let me share these with you because this is a bird you often encounter but don't think about. And yes. Yet here is the majesty that you behold. Uh, yes, I, I. It's very, that, that meme that goes around of like people watching that scene in Lord of the Rings where Aragorn breaks his foot, yeah. uh, kicking the helmet. For me and crow, if I'm with someone that hasn't heard one of my crow facts, it's yeah. very hard. I'm like crow, and I'll be, if, especially if a crow is doing something. If a crow, you know, like we were walking up, up the street the other day, me and Is, and I was I looked. Bro, up, you gotta be careful. You're talking a lot about crows right now. Am I talking too much about you crows? You really no. Finish what you can say, but I gotta say you're getting right. This is why people. It was. <laughs> it is, no. It's very. I was trying. I was digging my way out of. I was digging my way out of the bird hole. For you to go from like yeah, out of the bird hole to then being like, well, it's crazy, dude. Just yesterday, I was having a moment where I saw a bird, and I. It's just cool because if mm-hmm. you because you can look at a ray. And yeah. it was this thing where a raven did its like ah ah, and then like its croak noise, mm-hmm. and I was like, uh, you know, and I had a little moment to myself because it was far away, and I was like, that's a raven, and then it made a croak, and I was like, that is a raven, mm-hmm. and I was with his, and I was like, raven, and uh, I do like birds, you know, yeah. I do like them, it's but like, dude, it uh, always comes back. It you always, do like them. I do like yeah. them, but a normal amount, and mostly crows. Mm-hmm. Um, where are we at? Uh, yeah, I mean, I love it here in North Dakota. Uh, I moved here about three years ago from <laughs> the East Coast. I'm enjoying it. I mean, work is, work's been good. My wife obviously has her family out here, so that's, I get back out to the East Coast, I'd say once or twice a year, which is, I could be more, but just while we're getting settled, it feels like it's good to try to put down roots here. Brendan, I feel like you're trying to catch me on a technicality. So you want me to, to engage in stereotype? That point, I think, goes to you, Brennan, for <laughs> catching me on being reductive. (laughs) Brennan looks like he's throwing baseball signs. (laughs) What the fuck does this guy want me to pitch? Um, (laughs) Okay. I'm still learning! (laughs) (laughs) How did that feel? Yeah, how was it? Playing a theremin. I don't know, like a strange alien power had been given to me. But on the one hand, it felt like there are things beyond mortal ken to which we cannot claim knowledge. But then also I was like, how the hell would you do hot cross buns on this? Actually, you know, it's a little toasty in here, so I'm just gonna. I'm a little hot, so I'm just gonna. The shirt is bad. What? I like the shirt. What do you mean? The shirt is good. The famous shirt that you wear every day. A shirt so good you can't stop wearing it. Um. Okay. I didn't know that there was such a kerfuffle over my shirt, so. I'm gonna go ahead and change shirts if there's such a big wow. to do about. What you, what what's that? What's it say? What's it say? What? What's that? Bethany won Shirtgate. Wow. Bethany won Shirtgate. Congratulations, Bethany. Hey, Bethany. What? Congratulations. What? You won Shirtgate. <laughs> all right. Look. Uh, so many changes. Oh, she just posted Brandon today that you wear that shirt all the time. I own lots <laughs> of shirts. Oh, do you? I got plenty of shirts. <laughs> if you punch yourself and it hurts, are you weak or strong? Strong. Easy. Strong uh, doesn't necessarily have the connotation of resiliency. Uh, in gaming, you'd refer to that as a glass cannon, someone that can pack a lot of punch but can't necessarily withstand it. Brennan, that looks like an additional point for you. Bravo. You care to elaborate on why that's an additional point for me? <laughs> you smug motherfucker. <laughs> for the- See, those straps on your body aren't, in fact, range extenders. Mm-hmm. No shit. Whoa! Anything 20 BPMs above your standard heart rate will mean you don't win a point 
that round. I just want to say, you got to wake up pretty early in the fucking morning to go, oh, here's a range extender for your love, Brennan. Yeah, don't worry, it's not attached in any way to the sound pack. <laughs> we knew it was something. I didn't, I thought it was a range extender. And three BPMs below resting, that's a point for Brennan. <laughs> Fuck. Give me the assignment and I don't miss. I'm gonna die before this episode's over. My mind is gonna shut my heart down. You fucking watch. <laughs> I'm not okay with this. Is <laughs> I like wild. The, the do do you want to have hair usually? <laughs> Listen, what you've done here is a sin <laughs> and a crime. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's examine the the upsetting things on a again on a zoological level. Uh -huh. The fact that this I'm like. The hair alone. Well, it's it's the it's first of all, you let's let's be honest, and I don't want to be crass. I try to be as much of a gentleman. You've endowed this character with a pair of mammalian breasts, implying <laughs> implying the the existence in this world of snake milk, which is deeply upsetting. Snilk. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, Karina makes a good point. Snilk. <laughs> Snilk. Yeah. <laughs> The, so and then the hair. I wasn't going to say anything about the breast, but then you put the hair on the snake. So we're it's it's immediately, and I'm and I'm trying to sort this. I guess this would be a Yuanti half blood mm -hmm. because because the Yuanti have pure bloods which only have very limited serpentine features, like a slit eyes or something like that. And then there are abominations, which are the classic like it's fully a giant snake, just like with arms or like a humanoid face on a giant snake body. So this is a half because it's a full humanoid body, but then oh, it's like the neck is a snake body. It's all bad. It's all what you've done is what you've done is hurtful. You see, um, Brennan, I here's where I think I went wrong. I forgot that the things that I draw have implications. That, that you then have to consider as someone who knows things. <laughs> and I think that's maybe where I lost the, the track a little bit. Yeah, usually... The way you skip when you walk. <laughs> you use your terminal illness to shit on everybody way too dramatically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Feeling it more now. <laughs> <laughs> but just why not just befriend people? You have a short amount of time left. Friends. Friends. I lost my friends a long time ago. Oh, oh my God. Friends. I lost my friends a long time ago. In a rafting accident. <laughs> they all died. I lost them in the water. I'm really, so, I'm really sorry to hear that. Franklin, if you want to help on your paper, I can give you help on your paper. Hey, sorry, I just wanted to check in and see if somebody steal my lunch. I, I can't find it anywhere. Rebecca! <laughs> With your legs. Hey, Franklin, take it fucking easy, all right? Take it easy. Take it easy. You're talking about people's legs. Franklin stole your lunch because he's sad because he's going to die soon. So, I don't know why that's all of our responsibility now. Maybe you should do everybody a favor and fucking die. Humanity has... I'm not going to be the asshole. What an asshole. Uh, fun fact about moose, they're the last oh surviving God. species of North American megafauna. No points for Brennan. Points for the audience for learning. God, hey. Brendan, it's not the extra credit show. It's make <laughs> animal sounds. Come on, dude. I got places to be. Josh has to leave. Fox. Running through his mind palace, looking for his room with labeled <laughs> Fox. I'm imagining Brennan in his memory palace. He's pulling out books and they say like ancient history. The rise and fall of the Merovingian dynasty. Yes, and then behind yes. that is like a cardboard book that says, what Animal noise a fox make? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. That is correct. Well done, Brennan. Point to you. The fox does sound remarkably like a chirping bird. Well, Amanda, if I may, I think you look radiant. Thank you, but um, seriously, everything you say so I don't really listen and it doesn't really matter to me. I never made it to my prom.